tiny house is starting today. So, um, yep, the boys just arrived. Get my gumbies on and uh, sorting out the trailer. Yeah, we're into it. Tiny houses are important for me because I can't afford a house and I want to build houses that are attainable for myself and my family um, and also the way I like to live is minimal and I like to concentrate on how much I can do in a small space. You know I don't, I don't own any land you know and if I were to buy land I would be really tied to that place for a long time. Whereas um, I still want to own a house, and I can do that with a tiny house on wheels, and I can move that onto a piece of land that's not necessarily mine. Um, and that's really cool. And then if things change in my life, I can relocate that. Just put in another, another jack there, and that's where our um, pieces of plywood break. So we're having every 600, every edge of the plywood, and then in the middle of the plywood, there's gonna be a break. And that's where our battens are gonna go as well. So all the screws will be covered. This um, whole tiny house thing, for me, it's it's about tino ranga tira tanga, so it's about um, self determination, uh, being independent of banks and all their corrupt ways that they rip people off. Having my own housing, getting that sorted, and then um, eventually getting some land and being able to um, go in with other people, community, you know, and then get getting independent and um, having some sovereignty around food. So food and housing are the main ones. Um, you never know what you can do once you've got those things sorted. So we're designing it in, in three, three dimensions. Um, and so we're able to work out, yeah, the little components and the different details as we go. But then in the end, we also have all of our measurements. We can go back to it. And this is, a, this is a, the exact model of what that is, you know? So we're able to go Oh, what's that number? You know, we can have all of our, all of our uh, cut list, uh, all our numbers we've got there. Cut, cut, cut. It should fit right in. Yeah. Got the business end of the framing. This is the connection between the stud and the trailer to stop our house coming off. There's a lot of interest in tiny houses and there's not as many people actually doing it yet because of the cost, you know. But when you look at the cost, it's um, it's usually an initial investment of a big chunk of money. But if you look at it long term, you're saving over the years, you know. And so, in a way, you're kind of getting ahead. When we look at some of the housing crisis and the debt that people get themselves into, <clears throat> for me, it feels unmanageable and <clears throat> just too much of a burden. When you release that burden you increase joy, you're like, why not have more fun? Why not have more fun, more time to be with your family, more time to do that, yeah. Less impact on Papa Tūnuku, more, more time for my family. So if, if housing can do that, if a tiny house can do that, then I'm all for it.